Here I want to show you the frog. <coughs> it's shading. Look. See, the, this is the old frog still attached and the new frog coming up. Usually you don't, you don't notice it. Usually this old frog will, will fell off and the new one is there and you don't even notice it. But here it's, it's almost in the process of, of changing the old one for the new one. So we're going to just deattach it, clean the new frog, clean the bars. Clean the sole. And then we have a hoof ready to trim this wall. We're going to have to get rid of some of this excess wall here on the sides. But you see the new frog is coming out. It's, it's already good and mature in compare to the other one that you know that just came off of that one and if, 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 if we don't catch it on time we don't even notice that this happened this happened twice a year usually happens in the spring to get ready for the summer and in the fall to get ready for for the winter my, my sole and the wall meets right there. I don't want to trim more wall here. What I want to do is I want to get rid of these side walls, these flares. So here it is, still the hoof, still concave. The horse is walking on this saw in this wall. The saw is concave; it's not touching the ground. Now we dressed up the hoof. And we have a finished product right there. No flares. It's short toe and concave. Here we have the same thing. We have a hoof that uh, needs to be trimmed. First of all, I'm cleaning the clay of my frog. And if we notice, it's shedding frog also. This is the old frog and the new frog. It's pushing up, it's coming up, it's maturing. It's not mature yet. So, because it flaps, I'm just gonna cut it right there. Make dirt releases. Then 
I'm going to get rid of this soil. You see this soil? It's, it's old. It's growing over. It grows and it grows over the new soil. This is the old soil. Right there. So this is what I want to clean first. See how it comes in chunks? It's not attached no more. Once I get it out of the way, I clean it up a little better. Make sure I clean the, the, the bars. So now if you notice, I have my sole trim up and then I have the wall which is a little bit too high. It's, there's a little too much wall. So I'm going to try to nip my hoof where, where the sole meets the wall. Right there. So The heel also needs to be trimmed at the wider spot of the frog because the hoof grows forward, the heel grows forward. So the more forward you grow, the more off balance you are. So the, the, uh, as well as all the wall, the, the heel needs to be also addressed. concave sole but too much wall very thick wall here in the toe so instead of cutting it like that again I'm just gonna put my nippers perpendicular and get rid of some wall just like that You should trim it, you know, like like quarter of an inch off that white line. So I'm still concave. The whole the horse still walking on that wall, and I'm ready to bring it forward and dress it. So I'm making here a bordon or bumper. Bordon is in Spanish, and here I call it bumper. So there's no edgy, there's no edge here, it's flat. Just a quarter of an inch. You don't need to do it too much. Just a little bit. Just enough to where any stones or rocks is not gonna chip, it's not gonna catch an edge 